Welcome to How to Play Guitar, part number 3 by Divan Erasmus. Today we will continue with chords and I will show you how to play 7 major chords. Let's continue. First I would like to say that there will be images on the right side of the screen indicating, making it easier for you to understand which strings are being played and where to place your fingers with the numbers indicating your fingers and which finger to use and also where to place it on the frets. So use the image next to the video to see where you need to place your fingers and also which strings to play. The X at the top of the string will mean that do not play that string. So an X means do not play a string and the numbers on the frets will mean that that will be the fingers that you need to use to play the specific strings. So let's continue with chord with the first chord which is the E chord. So first we will do the E major chord. I'm going to show you how to do the E major chord. What you do is you will we will use the first two frets. So remember this is the head and this is the first fret, the second thread the third fret and so forth and so forth. So we will just use the first and second fret and uh, first thing you'll do is place your first finger, remember this is your first finger, your index finger, and you'll place that on the third string. Remember what we said, I showed you which, uh, which strings and which numbers correspond to which strings in the first part. So please check that if you're not sure. So I put my finger on the third string in the first fret. So first finger, first string, third fret. And now I'm going to place my second finger on the fifth string, which is above, close to the sixth string. And now I'm going to put my third finger, let me just get that out here, third finger on the fourth string. So it's just below, it is on the fourth string, second fret. So just below the fifth string on the same fret. So just to show you, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to play it. This is what it will sound like. I'm going to strum the the strings close to where you can see it. That is the E major chord. That is the E major chord and uh, all the strings are being played. So all these strings are being played. Now let's move on to the next chord. Now we will play the D major chord and uh, we will only use the 2nd and 3rd fret, 2nd fret and 3rd fret. So place your first finger on the 3rd string in the 2nd fret. So I placed my, my first finger on the 3rd string on the 2nd fret. And now I place my third finger, which is this finger, third third thing, finger on the second string on the third fret. Now we need to place our second finger. Now second finger will go on the second fret close to our uh, first finger and this will go on to the first string so the first string down here first string is right there so now I'm gonna play all of them and this is and remember do not play the sixth and the fifth string so not the sixth or the fifth string but play from the fourth string down 
So play all the strings except the 6th and the 5th string. Let's hear what that sounds like. And that is the D major chord. Let's go into the next chords. Now I'm going to show you a major chord, so A for alpha major chord. We will only use the first fret. So this is the first fret, if you forgot already, and we will use our first finger only. So the first finger for the A major chord will only be used. First finger and first fret. So now we will use our first finger to hold down the fourth, so four is there, the fourth string, fourth string, and also the third string, also the fourth string. So we will use our fingers to hold down three strings. We will use one finger, our first finger, to hold down three strings. And these strings are the fourth third and second strings. We also call this a bar chord. So if you want, wanted to know why we use all these uh, you know, strings with one finger, we call this a bar chord. And this is the A major chord. And uh, remember that we will only be strumming from the fifth string. So from the fifth string, not the sixth string, from the fifth string down until we go until we reach the second. So not not all the strings, only from the 5th down until the 2nd string will we be strumming. So let me play that for you. This is the A string, the A chord, the A major chord. Now let's move on to the next chord. Now we will play the G major chord, G for golf, G major chord, and we will only use the second, let me just show you nicely, on, we will only use the second and third fret, so the second and the third fret of the guitar. Now place your first finger on the fifth string on the second fret. So first finger, fifth string, second fret. Let's place our second finger on the third fret. So our second finger is on the third fret and you have to place it on the sixth string. So second finger on the third fret, sixth string. Sixth string is at the top. Now we place our third finger on the first string, also on the third uh, fret, same as our second finger. So that'll be the first string will be at the bottom. So that's what it looks like. So that is the first, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, this is the second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and then also the third finger on the first string that's also on the third fret. Now let's play the G major chord. This is what it sounds like. And we play all the strings. So this is all the strings. <laughs> That's the G major chord. Let's move on to the next chord. So now we will play the B major chord. We will only use the second and the fourth 
fret so the second and the fourth fret and we will place our first finger on the fifth string so our first finger fifth string second fret now we'll place our second finger on the fourth string so the fourth string and that is the fourth fret fourth string fourth fret second finger now we'll place our third finger on the third string fourth fret so third finger third string fourth fret now we'll place our fourth finger on the the second string also on the fourth fret we will only play the fifth fourth uh, yeah fifth fourth third and second strings we will not play the sixth we will not play the first string when when we strum it when we strum the string so this is what these strings will sound like this is what the B string the B major chord will sound like that was the B major chord now let's move on to the next chord now we will play the C major chord we will play the first second and third uh, fret so first second and third fret first place your third finger we will first place our third finger on the fifth string fifth string third fret so place your third finger on the fifth string third fret and then place your second finger on the fourth string and that is on the second fret so I've got my third finger on the fifth string third fret I've got my second finger on the fourth string that's on the second fret now my first finger will go on the second string first fret so that is the second string first fret now we're going to play the C major chord this is what it sounds like and only strum from fifth string down do not strum the sixth string but from the fifth string so from the fifth string down <laughs> And that was the C major chord. Now we're going to play the F major chord. We will need to play the first, second, and third uh, fret. So first, second, third fret first second and third fret only so first thing we do is we place our first finger on both the first and second strings on the first fret so first finger on first and second string on the first fret now take your second finger and you place that on the third string which is on the second fret so recap that again you place the second finger on the third string second fret now the last finger you place the third finger on the fourth string and that is on the third fret so the third finger on the fourth string on the third fret now this is what 
the F major chord will sound like. Remember, do not play the 6th string, do not play the 5th string. You need to play from the 4th string down. From the 4th string down till the 1st string. So remember, do, do not play the 6th the, the string, do not play the 5th string. Play from the 4th string down. And this is what the F major chord will sound like. And that was the F major chord. This was the end of the third part. Thank you for uh, letting me show you the seven major chords. Remember there's many more chords that you can follow up on. And uh, follow me next as we uh, continue on to the next part on learning our first song. Thank you for watching.